<laughs> I need to go buy a jacket or something, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so this place, I don't know why, if it's been done on purpose, I think it has, but it feels like we're in Japan or something. It's like a Japanese living room, and this here, the snow-capped mountains, it's got a lot of Japan vibes to it, um, which is pretty cool. Actually, this whole area kind of has like a Korean, Japanese sort of vibe. It doesn't feel like we're in Vietnam so much. Even with this koi fish pond, just out the front here, like just looking out over here, you would think we were in like Tokyo or something, but it's way too cold. <laughs> yeah, we are not prepared. <laughs> yeah, they don't really have like, I mean, they do have cold weather clothes in Bangkok, but in Hua Hin, we couldn't find anything. So we're gonna head over to H&M, which is located in this, I think it's located in Ocean Park 1 very close to where we are it's a five minute drive it's a five minute grab you can get grabs all around here really easily so we're going to go do that and then we're going to have a nice warm breakfast like some pho or something yeah and a coffee mm -hmm. and then we're going to meet up with lily again and she's going to take us around to see even more of ocean park because there's so much we haven't seen yet So we're heading into the Vincom Mega Mall. Uh, usually I'm not a huge mall person, but since we've started like spending frequent time in Asia, it's awesome when it's really hot out, then you have somewhere to go with aircon, or if it's raining, you actually still have an activity to do with lots of stuff to do indoors and you don't have to be cooped up inside. Yes, this is it. Thank you. Did you say thank you again? Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Cotton On has actually been like one of the best shops we found in Asia for cheap, <laughs> good clothes. Yeah, a lot of you guys ask where my clothes are from. Um, Lloyd and I pretty much, I mean, we do have a lot of stuff from Unbound Merino, but like when we need to get last minute clothing, Cotton On or H&M are always a good place to go to. Business expense, honey. So hopefully there's warm stuff in here. Yay, I'm cozy. <laughs> I hate being cold so much. Yeah, for a Canadian man, he does not do cold weather too well. The worst Canadian. But so this mall here pretty much has every like major chain uh, clothing brand you can think of. So I picked up myself a jacket, so I'm gonna be good for the next few days. We're just gonna have another banh mi and a coffee because it was easy and we like them. And then we're gonna uh, we're gonna head over to this man-made beach. We're gonna go check that out. Um, we drove past it on the way here. It looks really cool, and that's basically why this place is called Ocean Park because they've created like an artificial ocean here. So we'll head over there after we grab something to eat. Why are you crying laughing? We just saw a lady on the escalator, like. It looked like she was doing downward dog, like yoga pose, but she was holding on to the step in front to like... <laughs> Without set coming across as rude or anything, she was riding the escalator like a four-legged animal, like a dog. Holding on to it. I guess she had a fear of escalators or something. Is it an escalator? I guess she had a fear of escalators. It just looked really funny. I wish we got it on the film. So 
someone's hangry. Yeah. Lloyd just cracked it. <laughs> That's where we're at today. But as soon as we eat, we'll be in a better mood. And um, the day will just keep getting better, I think. The real reason we came back to Van Am, peach iced tea. They put like a full peach in here, it's the best. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how this lady um, rode the escalator. Can you hold this? There must be some reason for it that we just, it's just a miscommunication. Yeah. <laughs> Massage chair while we're watching TV. Uh. All right, this shopping mall is awesome. So, if you're a shopper, it's a great place. There's a few little playgrounds and things for kids, too. I really think that um, Ocean City, Ocean Park, whatever you want to call it, is one of the best family friendly places so far that um, we've been through. Just so many different activities and it just feels super safe and like accessible if you have like a pram or a stroller, whatever you call it. And things to do um, that keeps you out of the heat or out of the weather. Definitely not heat today. <laughs> I feel like I'm actually in Canada. I'm dressed how I would normally in Canada. All right, I'm re let's go check out this beach though. Picked up this sick Columbia jacket for about 80 bucks. And it's reversible. <laughs> it's not reversible. I like that side better. That suits you. Do you reckon? <laughs> yeah. Flashy, honey. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that screams Lloyd. <laughs> Okay, we've gotten really lucky. It's warmed up a little bit and the rain has stopped. And we just realized that the beach is only like a 10 minute walk from the shopping center. So we're just gonna do a bit of sightseeing and walk there. This day has turned around for us. <laughs> we're cozy, we're warm, not raining. We actually just bought our first umbrella that we've ever owned too. This is a big day. We <laughs> have talked about getting an umbrella for Years. I'm embarrassed to say. <laughs> I don't know why we were so against it. It's just like we went so long without it that the principle of buying one, um, I don't know. It's just like an ongoing joke for us, but I guess it's over now. <laughs> Xin chào. Xin chào. Our Google Maps told us it was 10 minutes away. It's literally right across the street from the shopping center. So you can go shopping and then you can head straight to this beautiful man made beach. And the color of the water is so beautiful. It's like bright turquoise blue. Amazing. Honey, I think it is 10 minutes away, unless who are you gonna and <laughs> jump over this? <laughs> well, okay, so yeah. <laughs> you have to walk around, I guess, because there's a gate here, but uh, or a fence, but um, it's right here. And there's a bunch of awesome coffee shops across the street and beautiful, beautiful buildings. Imagine what it would be like here in summer, it'd be perfect. Yeah. We might have to come back. I think we do. Just waiting for our tour guide 
Lily to show up. But I'm pretty sure we've got over here the Crystal Lagoon, which is like the saltwater lake with really nice white sand and palm trees. It actually looks like it'd be the best spot to hang out on a warm day. And then on this side, we have the big freshwater lake, which still has sand and palm trees and like a nice spot to hang out, but it's a lot bigger. This one over here looks like an actual tropical beach, whereas this one, yeah, just looks more like a lake, but it's completely dead. There's no one here. I think the weather is probably Put everyone off but it's still really nice it's like a really good place you could just bring the family and hang out for the day surrounded by coffee shops and restaurants they've even got this jazz music playing in the background i think just not many people live here yet i think this place is going to blow up This view from here. This is incredible. Last time we were in Vietnam, we definitely more experienced like the older, more traditional way of life here in Vietnam. And this time it's really cool to see the more modern side of things and how all the development outside of like the old quarter in Hanoi and everything else that Hanoi has to offer, like we had no idea this was here. It is so beautiful. I can't wait to come back here in summer. And I really want to bring my nephew here because I know he would love the beach here and all the parks and stuff around. He would have so much fun here. I think this is the freshwater lake. Okay. And then you got the saltwater lagoon over there, which looks more like a tropical beach. But both of them look sick. You could have like a nice barbecue and hang out there. Yeah. Imagine bringing your nephew here. That'd be awesome. Yeah. It's a very, very family friendly place. And then we've got like jazz music playing in the back. <laughs> I know, it's so peaceful. Where is everyone? Too cold for everyone, I think. It's not that cold, man. <laughs> 15. Says us that just went and bought so many warm clothes. <laughs> How cool are these? <laughs> are they rentals? Yeah. Yeah. You can try it. We can, we can film. I can try it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. How much does it cost to rent this? Um. Thirty minutes about uh, thirty thousand dollars. Thirty thousand. Okay. Around, about one point five US dollar. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's a great deal. That looks so fun. One point five US dollar for uh, thirty minutes. Okay. <laughs> for thirty minutes. All right. It's about a dollar fifty US to ride this around for half an hour and it's like perfect conditions to ride around here. Oh I'm so excited to do this. We've even got some corn in here. <laughs> perfect. <Yes>. How fun. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty cool. Dollar fifty to hire one of these for thirty minutes, I think. So you can probably hire it all day for like ten bucks. How you going? I love it. We might have to get one of these back home. All right, we're going to ride around the saltwater lagoon here. Yeah? Can't stress enough how awesome this would be in the middle of summer, just outside of Hanoi. Look at this place, it feels like we're in Mexico or Los Angeles or something. I want one of these now, it's so much fun. And this place for it, like the sidewalks are so big, it's so good to do it here. Yeah, we'll have to get we might have to get one of these for the whole day, I think. Yeah. Why do I feel like Lloyd Christmas on Dumb and Dumber? That, that would make Mandy hurry.
We're not What's supposed to do boy? this. <laughs> We're doubling. I'm sort of sitting on Lloyd's lap, but not really. Everyone's staring at me. If you didn't have a backpack on, it might be easier. Yeah, uh, oh well. <laughs> Everyone's looking at us. <laughs> you look like Lloyd and Harry. Yeah, we are Lloyd and Harry. <laughs> Good one, honey. I don't know how we both just fit on that. <laughs> oh wow, look at all the barbecues down here. So cool. Yeah, and there's even have... sinks here? Yeah, okay. That's awesome. There's have... everything. We may have some... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's actually such a fun day. Yeah. So we've been told one of these houses is around about a million dollars, did they say? Yeah, one, one to 1 1.5. One to 1.5, which does seem like a lot for Vietnam, but when you actually see it up close, how big it is and how beautiful it is, and then you look at the view, I mean, you've pretty much got this private beach right in front of your house, and um, I don't think you'd ever have to leave this area. Not if you didn't want to, it's got everything. Yeah. Got a little bit of a Vietnamese barbie going on here. Pork, beef, sweet potato, and some corn. Which Mandy's apparently allergic to corn now, huh? Weirdest thing ever, but yeah. Body doesn't like it. Martin, on the yeah. tools. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we eat today or tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've had another YouTuber join us. Um, his name is Martin. You can find him at Martin Bravo on YouTube, is that correct? Yeah, Martin Bravo. Yeah, <laughs> That's <my name. laughs> yeah way cooler than our name. <laughs> Johnny Bravo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's exploring Ocean City at the same time as us, so definitely check out his channel and also his Instagram if you're interested. He's based in Thailand as well, and um, he actually speaks Thai. Yeah, it's big Thai. Yeah, so that's awesome for all of our Thai subscribers and he checks out a lot of cool markets and things. So yeah, check out his channel. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think the beef is just ready. Wow, smells good. I'm going to be driving. I'm going to drive. I'm going to drive. I think. Okay. I can drive? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Can I sit in the front? Yeah. 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 It's okay. Wow. This is so <laughs> cool. I'm the tour guide. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Oh, like a nice soccer pitch there. Wow, Oops. it's so nice. So pretty the statues here are incredible they put a lot of thought into the architecture it's beautiful all right well that was fun um, they let me drive the golf cart around I think I'm the driver for the day which is pretty fun we just uh, they just showed us Vin University which is like a prestigious university here in Hanoi it's actually very new she said it costs hundred and fifty thousand dollars per year to go to this university which to me I mean I don't know is that worth it? That's a lot of money. There must be some wealthy families sending their kids to university here.
Okay, so we're just out the front of uh, Techno Park Tower, which it's a little hard to understand because of um, they're not fluent in English. They're very good, but not fluent. But from what I can understand, this is a massive uh, IT center and they develop like AI technologies and that sort of thing here. So like as well as being a residential area, and a good place to holiday with your family. It's actually got like a bit of a business district based around IT. And Ocean City is actually known as a smart city, so that probably makes sense. So they have all these electric taxis available here. Um, you can see them all lined up here, which is pretty awesome. They're all available. You'll see them driving around here. Very modern and pretty awesome that they're electric as well. All right, so I've just noticed every single car here is the same sort of brand. It's called Vinfast and they're all electric cars. You can see all these charging stations here. It feels like this whole like little city of Ocean City. It feels like all of Ocean City is just run on like electricity and smart power. It's like a modern city. 